Ni hao. While I was in Beijing, I was asked to create four different Chinese girl looks: a simple natural look, an office look, a dating look, and a party look. And this was all done without removing any of my makeup. So let's begin. For the simple natural look, I'm going to start out by applying serum first. Asian women take skincare very seriously. They use about an average of nine skincare products daily. That's right, nine. And I thought I used a lot. I was told girls in Asia prefer having their foundation shade that's a little bit lighter than their own skin color because it instantly brightens their skin. Use a brush and apply your foundation, starting from the center of your face and work your way out. Melt the product with clean hands and blend, blend, blend. Get rid of any streaky marks. You want your foundation to brighten your skin. Now set your makeup with powder. Blot the excess powder on the back of your hand, and pat the powder on your face, starting around the eye area first, so the foundation doesn't crease or smudge your mascara. Remember, try not to over powder your face. Just use thin layers. You want your face to glow. Now, with your eyebrow pencil, lightly fill in your brows to bring out your desired shape. Blend your brows to soften the pencil marks. See what a difference a redefined brow can make. Now it's time to curl your lashes and get them ready for mascara. And apply your favorite mascara. You can also apply a hint of shimmer along the inner corner of your eyes, the center of your lids, and along the brow bone. This will give your eyes a beautiful glow. Do the same on the other eye. And add some color to your cheeks. You want soft looking lips, so try and use a hydrating lipstick. And add just a little bit of color on your lips if you really need it. So now the simple look is finished. Moving on to the office look. You want to use neutral eyeshadow colors. Select the brown eyeshadow first, and apply this on the outer corner or the V shape. And selecting the champagne color, use it to blend out the brown. I'm using an eyeshadow sponge applicator because someone told me Chinese girls prefer to use this in their fingers more than brushes. So I figured I might as well apply my makeup the same way they do. Try and keep the color soft for work. Sometimes wearing heavy dark makeup can make your eyes look really tired. Bring the brown color down along the lower outer corner of your eyes. This helps balance out the eye makeup so it doesn't look too top heavy. And with a black or brown eyeliner, line your eyes. Stay as close to the lash line as you possibly can. And keep it natural looking. So now, rub the pencil on a sponge tip applicator or a cotton swab, and use this to smudge the eyeliner. The reason why you want to coat it with eyeliner is because it won't remove the eyeliner when you're smudging it. It helps blend it better. Apply a little bit of blush on your cheeks. Adding more color to your cheeks will give you a healthier glow. And finish off using a nude lipstick. Apply this on your lips. I like to pat my lip color on. Now this look is finished, and you're ready to head out to work. For a dating look, if you're leaving straight from the office to a dinner date, I recommend darkening your eyebrows to give them a more dramatic touch. Just focus on the outer parts of your brows.
and select a pale purple color and apply this on top of the brown eyeshadow. You're adding color to your eyeshadows. Lavender is a very romantic color. Notice how the brown helps soften the intensity of the lavender color. So now blend this with your pinky finger and keep everything soft. Apply this along the lower lash line too. Again, this helps bring balance to your eye makeup. And take the white shimmering eyeshadow and add this on the center of your lid. Take your black eyeliner again and line your waterline. This will accentuate the shape of your eyes, giving your eyes a more sensual look. And with the white shimmering eyeshadow again, highlight your brow bone. And remember, don't forget the inner corners. It makes a big difference, I promise. Repowder your face to get it matte looking. And add additional highlight on your nose bridge. This will give your skin that dewy effect. If you want bigger looking lips, add a touch on your cupid's bow. And for higher cheekbones, may I suggest that you also add this on the high points on your cheeks? Add more blush to your cheeks. You want to look as if you're blushing. And warm up a lipstick. And pat the color on your cheeks to give it that dewy rosy glow. Apply the rest of the lip color on your lips. And if you really want fuller looking lips, apply lip gloss right on the center of the bottom lip. So now, you're ready for your date. So now, if you're ready to go out to play, get ready for the party look. With your black eyeliner, heat it up with a hair dryer and blot it on the back of your hand. See how creamy it is now? Dab it on your finger and darken your eyeshadow with this. Focus on the outer corner and blend it with your sponge for that smoky look. Darken the lower lash line. It's pretty simple. Just darken and intensify your eyes. Party makeup should be fun and experimental, so be as crazy as you like. Reapply more black eyeliner. Intensify your waterline. Recurl your lashes to help perk them up a bit. And with a highlighting eyeshadow, again, brighten up the inner corners more. And finish off with gloss. So now, your party look is finished. And you're ready to head out. 
I just demonstrated four different looks without removing any of my makeup. I just layered on more. So, if you have a lot of events to go to, rest assured that you will look different for each event back to back. And they were all simple to achieve. Xie Xie, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Good luck. Oui, c'est un coup de foudre, tu es tombé du ciel Et en me temps, la vie, tu m'as donné des ailes Je suis hors, j'ai tes mains, les super